Do you understand? Yeah. Right. This is the most ah. important. Yeah. I look, I first time here, I'm so, I look so Muslim one, see that is so. If you haven't this love, you lose all. I lose all. Yeah. I understand, yeah. brother. I understand. Love is important. No one's just. Uh, I'm very, very sad when I Sorry. can't. I can't speak English. If I can speak, I can hear. Brother, no problem. No problem. The first I study Quran. Twenty years. Can you think so? Twenty years study one. So I can from the first. Uh, till the last. Yeah. Oh. But I never judge. You know, brother, I understand. Uh, I can see Jesus in Quran. I can see him. I can see him how my God. Okay, you see you see Jesus as God, yeah? Yes. In Quran. Okay. So this is what I was trying to explain to you earlier. But I right? can't now tell for you. Please read this surah, sure. this surah, this surah. Go on, go on, go on. But, the most important for me, for I love you. Yeah, sure. You love me. Sure, sure. I can speak sure. as a little day or name about yeah. Hold on. our God. We have one God. Yeah, no, we but have so, listen, yeah. Yeah. but if you know love, we lose. You lose. Yeah. I agree. Starting. Sorry, what were you saying? It's, it's a little hard to explain the, the God in Jesus. Uh, but I have one. Do you believe that the Genesis is the same? The Quran and the Old Testament. Do not, not believe in the Old Testament. We believe in Islam. We believe that the Quran, the Qur we believe in the Quran. Yes. But I thought you believe that the Old Testament and the Bible is when the first the Bible first came. It was to Jesus. Obviously, after um, humans they started corrupting the Bible, changes. The Old Testament. Because there is a study that's shown that over thirty, there's been over thirty thousand changes. So there's a lot, and there's a lot of um, there's a, there's a lot of contradictions in it. As well. no, because I have what? a proof in the Old Testament that God was not alone so, when He created the world. Okay. It's Genesis 1 26 and say, Let us make man in our let image. Let us. After, uh, it's after. us. It's, it's not alone. Right. Then we believe that Jesus was together, that there was one. It's like the water. The water can become ice, a liquid, and gas. Yeah. But this water is one. This for us is a, the Bible says, uh, some, th some things are mysteries, hard to understand in this earth. And I believe you have things that you don't understand completely. Okay. Yep. I think it's just, a, sorry, I think it's just the nuance of the language. That's it. It's the nuance of the language. Because if you're, if you're, if you're accustomed to the Hebrew language, Elohim does not only refer to the God of Israel. For example, if you read in, the, in, in Psalms chapter 82 verse 6, the Israelites were also called, ye are gods. Right, you are gods. That's what. Je so, so the Elohim in the Hebrew language, Elohim is isn't only referring to the God of Israel; it refers to the Israelites as well. Right. So it depends. No, but it's the same word, Elohim. No, no. Little gods means you're a small version of me. It doesn't mean you're a god. Exactly. It means you are in my likeness, but of an inferior nature. Exactly. Exactly. So, so it's all based on the nuance of the language, right? So when it mentions Genesis chapter one, verse one, right, that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth the word Elohim is used here correct That's right. but then if Moses is also called Elohim are you then saying that he's the creator as God, as Elohim. but it's used Elohim he's not called Elohim whereas Jesus is called God it says as you are you are Wait, hold on, no, no, hold on. but this is but this is the reason why I was asking you earlier right so this is gonna go back to my fundamental question I asked you quoted John chapter 1 verse 1 right I am arguing that it's a mistranslation because if we go back to the Greek manuscript itself because John wrote his gospel in what language? English? No. He wrote his gospel in the Greek language, right? And the Greek word used here is the same Greek word that's used in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1 which is that in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1 it says, I shall make you uh, Elohi uh, uh, sorry, if we go to the Greek Septuagint, sorry, if we go to the Greek Septuagint of the Old Testament it says that I will make you a whole theos, which is the same Greek rendering word that's used in John chapter 1 verse 1. I shall make you a whole theos unto Pharaoh. And in John chapter... It means you are taking, you are my representative to Pharaoh. Exactly. You are but that's exactly, exactly that's exactly the point that's we were raising. What we that's what we believe. So, But just to Moses, to Moses was as a God because he was God's representative to Pharaoh. Correct. He was speaking for God. But Jesus... When he, 
Bible says he's the Word and he was in the beginning and he was with God and he was God. It's not saying he was as... No. If we go to John chapter 5 verse 30, right, it says, I can of myself do nothing. I judge as I hear, but my judgment is honest because I'm not seeking my will, but I am seeking the one who sent me. So according to Jesus' own words, who sent, Je who sent Jesus? Father, Father, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So if the Father sends Jesus into this world, yeah. then we have to ask the question, what was his role? What was the, the, uh, the function? He has a subordinate role, but he can still have the same position. You can have two people in a position, but you don't need to have them with an equal status. You can still have a subordinate status. Right, okay. But, but that contradicts the Bible because in John chapter 14, verse 28, yeah. Jesus said, my father is greater than who? My father is greater than I. Right. So they're not equal on the same pedestal. That's what I said, they're not an equal. They've got the same position, but they haven't got equal status. Jesus is subordinate to the father. He is under the father, yeah. but he is still God. How? But, that, but, every, but you can have... How can, God, how can God be subordinated? Because you can, have, you can have a vice president and a senior vice president. Both of them are vice presidents, but one of them has a subordinate role to the other. You can have God and you can have a subordinate and a, and a superior. Yeah, but that's why, they, that's why they're called a vice president and not the president. Yeah, exactly. So there's a difference. No, 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 hold on one second. Okay. You, you, you see, we're, we're talking about a hierarchy here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Can there be two presidents in the United States? Not for that particular position. Right. But they can change the rules exactly. and have two presidents. There you go. No, hold on one second. Even if the vice president has some functionality or some similarity to the president, but you would never call the vice president the president, would you? In that particular role, you wouldn't, but you could change the rules and you could have. Ir 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 irrespective. The vice and the president. He's comparing uh, the. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Position, no, no, yeah. hold on one second. Yeah. The vice president does not have the same position as the president. Right? As the, was not vice these. president and president. I was saying you can have a senior vice president and a vice president. You can have any role. You could say, I'm going to have two people fill that role and one of them will be subordinate to the other. Yeah, but they're not equal no, no. Yeah, they're not equal status. No one's saying they're no, equal status. No, but the problem with your understanding, well, with your theology, is that I, I, I feel that you've you've put forward an argument that... Most Christians would say that. No, that's fine. But I feel that you've put forward slightly an irrational um, comparison, and I'll tell you why. Because when you talk about Jesus' his role, right? right. Jesus, Jesus did not have or share well, the same dominion as the Father, right? He did not share the same dominion as the Father. Well, In fact, Jesus... Say he had dominion over the earth. He had full dominion over the earth. Right, okay. Did not Jesus say all power was given to me from the Father? Yes. On right. earth, he did not use any of his own power. He used all that was given to him from the Father. On earth, he didn't use any. Everything he did was according to the Father. Can, can, so he was can, in human form. So can God be the recipient? Can he, can he be the recipient of the power? Can. Anyone can. How? Well, that's the mystery of... of, of uh, Is God all-powerful? God is all-powerful, but he can choose not to use his power. On earth, God chose, no, no, Jesus no, 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 no. chose. That's, no, no, that's his choice, that's his will. Yeah, yeah. But by his nature, he's all-powerful, correct? He is all-powerful. Right, yeah. so why does he need to be given power? Because he chooses on earth to be as a human being. No, 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 no. no. So he chose not to use no, his power. No, you believe Jesus is God, correct? Yeah. Right, so when Jesus said, all authority has given me by the Father, yeah. in other words, what you're saying is, the Father has given all the, all the authority to yeah. God. But God is, has all the authority in the first place. But when Jesus comes yeah. to earth, because, acquire the authority. Because, because he's still subordinate. You still exactly. have a subordinate person. But he's still God. You still have ha someone. Okay, what is God by definition? God is the creator of everything. Okay. Uh, he's the creator. He's the creator. Yeah. Okay, and what else? What? What else? Well, there are other attributes, but if you want a simplified definition, I would just say he's the creator. So would you agree God is all-powerful? God is all-powerful. He's omniscient, right. omnipotent, So everything. does God need to acquire power? He does if he chooses not to use his power. No, I didn't and ask he had no. an agreement. No, no, no. No, he does, because he doesn't lie. And he had an agreement with the Father that he would not use no, no, his no, power. No, no. So he did require to have the God. No, no, I didn't, ask, I, I didn't ask whether he chooses to exercise his power. Yeah. I'm asking the question, does God need to acquire power from someone else? Uh, so, so in other words, if God is the creator himself, yeah. God's power is... It, okay, do you, do you agree that God's power is eternal? Uh, yes, yeah. Right, okay. So if God's power is eternal, yeah. can 
he ever be the recipient or the receiver yes. of power? Yes. Ow. Well, that, that's the mystery of godliness, isn't it? We don't understand no, no, no. how the power flows. The Bible says, the Bible says in Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21, it says, God is not the author of confusion. Yeah. Now, this is confusion yeah. with, 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 with all due respect. Yeah, yeah. Right? But that's why the Bible says it's the mystery of, in, of godliness. It is not, it's beyond our understanding. Just as the Bible says there's a mystery of iniquity, it's beyond our understanding how sin formed. There are certain things in the Bible which God says it is not revealed to us. It says that in the Bible, it's not revealed to us. But that's not confusion, that's just not everything in the whole world has been revealed. But you see, the thing is, right, you, I haven't, right, I have not heard, or not, none of your colleagues here, has given me any evidence where Jesus says, I am God. What you have shown me, wait, 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 hold on one second. Okay, okay. Right. The word of God is different to be, is different to say, I am God. The Bible says the word was God. Okay, can, can this, I this, uh, hold on one second, hold on. Just one second, bear with me. Right, it says the word was God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is this the words of Jesus? Or it just reported well, speech. Jesus was the person that uh, inspired the writers of the Bible. So yes, it was indirect. Yeah, but did Jesus have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John with him? He inspired all of them. Yeah. What no, no, I no, no, no. I asked you: Did 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 Jesus possess the recordings of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Uh, yeah, he, he wrote it beforehand. So before he came to work, the Bible was already pre-written and pre-determined. How? So he, well, he's God, isn't he? He can pre-determine anything. And then he, he inspired the no, writers. No, no, no. When it's materialized. Yeah. When it was materialized, did yeah. Jesus did Jesus have the book of John with him? Did he have the Gospel of John? No, with no, he didn't. Have oh, right. Exactly. 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 So that's why we always have to cross-check reference. Yeah, but back he wrote the it before. Jesus. The Bible was written before uh, the earth even existed. I know, but are you? But you are supposed to follow Jesus, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, in the hierarchy, shouldn't you take the words of Jesus as presidents? To the no, disciples, no, 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 to the church no, no, no. fathers. That's the how Bible works. is the word. But the reason the Bible and Jesus is called the word is because the Jesus wrote the whole Bible because he inspired all the writers. Can you give me so, evidence? Where, where, did, where, where does Jesus say he wrote the whole Bible? Can you tell me? Because he's the word. I'm the word. Well, you, no, you're, the, no, you're the, the Bible is referred to as the word. The Bible is also referred to as the witnesses, the two witnesses in the Old Testament. Okay, when it, okay in John chapter 1, verse 1, yeah. the word here, is it referring to scripture? Yes. And it's okay. because, where? Yes, it's referring to both scripture and Jesus. Because there are many names that Jesus has that the Bible gives him, and those different attributes. Of Otherwise, why is he called the Word? No, 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 no. If you look at the context, it mentioned the Word became flesh. It's to no, do with no, the, the Bible says every word was inspired by God. That's in the Bible. Okay, okay. wait, 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 wait. You're quoting from First Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen. Okay, I don't know okay. historically, yeah. when when this was recorded, was the New Testament around? Everything, well, in terms of what you mean by around, it was around, but it wasn't on earth. No, 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 no. Because it was pre-written before no, 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 no. it existed. So, in the, yeah. No, no, when it says all scripture was inspired by God. Yes, all scripture in, is God breathed. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. When this was written, was Matthew, Mark, Luke and John existed? Did it exist? Are you saying when it was written in heaven before it existed? No, I'm not asking about it. No, no, no. no, no, no. We're like talking there. about the written format. So We're the talking about form is written okay. much later. Yeah. Right, hold on one yeah. second. So you believe that the whole entirety of the gospel is the word of God? Is that, is that am I right? Yes, yeah, this is what the Bible says. All Fine. the scriptures got breathed. No problem, brother. No yeah. problem. So if that's the case, yeah. why do we find the yeah. first epistle of John? chapter 5 verse 7 and 8 it says that there are three that bear record in heaven the father the son the holy ghost and these three are one has been taken out as a fabricated verse why is this the case why is it the case that mark chapter 15 right. or mark chapter 12 so it's only taken out on the right if we go to the first epistle of john i believe the first yeah. epistle of john chapter 5, john. Chapter, f chapter five or verse uh, verse 7 and 8 i believe Hold on, one second. The reverse, are you talking about the... We're talking about the tri the triune, for the formulation of the triune God. Oh, okay, God in three persons. Yes, okay. God in three persons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you aware of this verse? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. This verse yeah. has been taken out as a fabricated verse. In fact, if you go to the Revised Standard Version, it has a footnote. Ah, yeah, we know all about wait, wait, hold on, one That's second. why everyone who knows anything about the reads so the King James Bible. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's corrupted. Yes, there are new versions of the Bible have used corrupted manuscripts, but we have the Texas Receptus, we have the original manuscript, manuscripts, which the King James Version of the Bible is based on. 
I could make a false Quran, but that doesn't mean the original Quran's false. And just as the King James version of the Bible has no... No, no, hold on one second. The Texas Receptus is, yeah. is what the King James version is based on, yeah. right? Yeah. But the Texas Receptus holds the the, 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 uh, the verse that has been um, considered as an interpolation, yeah. which yeah. is the yeah. first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7 8, which has been expunged as a fabricated verse. But not only that. But, we, but that's been expunged by corrupt people, who, so evil people, people who have removed them. So people who lived in the 16th century, they believed that this was this was actually a revelation from God. In the what century? The, the, in the 16th century, the King James, the King James Bible, right? King yeah. James Version. Religious. They they right, believe yeah. First John chapter five verse seven was a was a legitimate verse. Which I still believe. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking about people who are in the 16th century. They believe this was authentic. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. up until when authentic. we discovered, when but we it's not. But it it's is not. authentic because the, you're talking about the Alexandrian text. No, the Alexandri no, no. We're talking about the Alexandrian text. text we're talking about a text that predates the Alexandrian text, yeah. ah, which is the they don't base it on age. Because yes, the Alexandrian texts are older than the Texas Receptus, but that doesn't mean they're the originals. They contradict each other all the time. Time, yeah, because they're a corrupted version. No, no, no. Hold on one second. If we go back to the Codex Sinaticus, yeah. the Codex Sinaticus which is, is actually which is the, essentially the same as the Alexandrian. Yeah. No, it's actually an early. It's, it, early. it's dated around. I know it's the earliest. Yeah. Well, hold on one second. Yeah. The, the the Codex Sinaticus is dated around the fourth, third this, yeah. to the fourth century, yeah. right? Yeah. It does not contain the first epistle of John. Because hold, hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't contain that verse. In yeah. the Codex Sinaticus, yeah. it also doesn't also contain, contain the resurrection Jesus, story. Yep, yeah, I know that it contain, and, and, and he and ascended Mark, to heaven. Lots of Mark, uh, uh, Absolutely, yeah. we thank we you very much. This, well, we don't base it on age. Yeah, we you know this. Accuracy. You know this. But the people in the 16th century didn't know this. They thought that was the word of God. But now it's been because it was the word of God. The, the <laughs> Texas Receptus was the word of God. So for 1600 years they had the correct Bible. It's just then we magically found new scriptures that's it, which were corrupted and then we changed it all. So that shows okay. us Notice that you used the word was. The new versions are Notice right. that you used the word was past tense. Yeah? So fair enough. Back then they probably believed it was the word of God. Yeah. But now we have found right, right. manuscripts which predates the Texas Receptus yeah. but which means and it's nothing. older. Means nothing. No, means nothing. no, it is because if you read your carbon no carbon dating. I know it's older, I know it's no, older. Hold on one well, second. That doesn't mean it's more accurate. No, no, that doesn't mean it's the original. No, 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 no. Hold on one second. You don't know what's the original. If, if we talk about we do, we do the right ways. Yeah. If we talk about radiocarbon dating, yeah. right? Yeah. The Texas Receptus, right, yeah. is authorized in 1611. If we go back to the Codex Sinaticus, it was carbon dated to the third century. The Texas Receptus wasn't carbon dated to the 1600s. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The, 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 look, the Codex, okay, yeah. right. The King James Version is authorized in 1611. Oh, you're right? Talking about, okay, you're not talking right. about the manuscripts as well. No, okay, hold on one yeah. second. It was the, the, the Codex Sinaticus was is dated around the fourth century, right? Which is considered by my uh, professor Michael Tessendorf, who was the person who managed to unearth the Codex Sinaticus. Yeah, yeah. He dated it around the fourth century, so it is considered by most uh, uh, Christian scholars as the earliest found manuscript. Yeah, if which we I agree with, yeah, yeah. fair enough, yeah. good. So now, if we look and examine, but, but I would say, look, look, it's slightly distorting to say the. Uh, King James Version was authorized in the 1600s. It's based on the Texas Receptus, which is from far before the 1600s. No, but it can't be. The it, manuscripts are not from the 1600s. So when the Texas Receptus is not from the 1600s. Okay, so when is it dated from? Oh, I'd have to look up. Because it can't, it cannot be predated before the Codex Sinaticus. I know the, it's not older than the Codex Sinaticus. There you go. So then, so then, it's a, it's you a, can't say which, which is the more reliable based on dates. Just because one's older doesn't mean it's so more there, So there's no certainty. Yes, there is certainty because there's no. other ways to be certain about okay, that. But they could find a manuscript that's earlier than Codex Sinaiticus then? Yeah, because you don't base it on dates. You base it on accuracy. You can go in there, you can look at contradictions, you can look at the stuff. So why did they remove the, why did they remove, why did the NIV and the RSV, why did they remove first? Because they're corrupted first, people. They, they're corrupted well, people. there you go. Because the NIV and the all of the modern translations use a corrupted manuscript, which is the which is all of the Egyptian manuscripts. That's no, 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 no. Yes, it is. The Codex Sinaiticus, right? Is so not the codex so is a corrupted the, the version. NIV, the NIV yeah, is a right? corrupted version. Hold on one second. The NIV, right, 
is authorized by 32 scholars of the highest eminence, right? 32 scholars backed by it. No, you hold on. A million no, scholars, it by mean 50, 50, 50 I will have denominators. Scholars and it doesn't mean anything. This is your own scholars. It's not my scholars. They're nothing to do with this me. This is your own scholars. They, I have no idea whether they're decent scholars or not. It means nothing. I go. Do you know how historicity works? What do you mean? Historicity. That's what we're discussing about. Yeah. How does historicity work? Explain you know? to me. So you have to go back to the earlier sources, correct? No, that is not how it works. When you look at accuracy, the earliest source may not be the most accurate. And most people that know about this who are Christian know that the oldest manuscript is not No, no, because it won't become the sound. Hang on, hang on. You're telling me yeah, yeah. at the time of Jesus, yeah. yeah, at the time of Jesus, are you telling me after 200, 300 years later, you would rather take that source then, 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 in, in, then, in, then, within 20 years after Jesus ascended to heaven, you're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna take early source into consideration. The Sinaiticus isn't from 20 years after his ascension. No, no, I'm giving an example. If it, that's what Codex Sinaiticus dates back to the earliest, which is the fourth century. Yeah. Right. That's how hist history works. Right. Uh, so, so yeah, okay. in the Codex Sinaiticus, yeah. first Epistle of John, chapter five, verse seven, is not found. Yeah, and we know all this. We've got to. No, no, but, but, so, but you see, but that, yeah, but you see, do you not see that that debunks the whole formulation of Jesus being God? Only the reason you believe the oldest is the most accurate, but no one really believes that. That is not actually how science works. You don't say the oldest is automatically the okay, most accurate. There are any, other ways of proving it. Okay, okay. Yes, we're, we're grunting that. Do you have any chain of narration that goes back to Jesus? Well, it goes back to Jesus. What no, do you mean? Show them. What, what it goes back to? What do you mean it doesn't go back to? Show it, show it. So you say, so you don't want to take early source into consideration? No problem. You want to dismiss the the historical method? No problem. Even though Christian yeah, scholars the what? The, the historical method. No, that's not the historical method. That is the historical method. Explain to me the definition of the historical method. Historical method. First, it has to go to the earliest source. No, that's not the, the historical method. method. The earlier the time, the more accurate. But that is that not is that, how that, science works. That's how history works. Science does not say there are other ways to prove accuracy. I didn't say science. Other than history. go. Yeah, but that's the type of, history is a type of science. History, j just going to the oldest method, no scientist would say you automatically say the oldest is the most accurate. So you would rather you would rather take because there are other ways to prove accuracy I, 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 other so, than okay. So, age. so 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 based upon that operation, you have to prove to me that your your manuscript yeah. is going back to Jesus. No, I don't have to prove it's going back to Jesus. Well, I have to prove it's why, accurate. Why? Because going back to Jesus doesn't prove accuracy. You could have something written exactly at the time of Jesus, but that may not be accurate. No, but the Age testimony. is nothing to prove accuracy. Do you have any testimony? Well, the Bible From says that God will protect the uh, the, the Bible. Also, where did it say that? Where did it say that? It says that in Revelation, uh -huh. and it actually say? says the last verse of Revelation is that no, if any get, what's the verse? Show us the, the verse. The very last verse of the Bible says that if anyone re removes any word from uh, this uh, Bible or adds any word, then all of the curses from this book will be added to them. No, but, you, but, but, but no, but hold on. We've established that that has happened, though. It has happened. Hold yeah, on. And they will they will be cursed. For right. Doing it. Okay. So, <laughs> see, what you're doing is actually proving my point because you see, I. I agree with you. If Revelation says, the book of Revelation says that whoever adds, yeah, yeah, yeah. or subtracts, or yeah. manipulates, or yeah. adds, yeah, yeah. they will they will have the curse of God upon them, right? Is that is that what it says? I'm just paraphrasing. Well, it will have the curses mentioned in Revelation, which is the eternal death. Yeah. Right. Okay. But we have proven that that has actually happened. Yeah. So we have proved did it have eternal death. Right. Okay. So yeah. right. Yeah. So it's like me having a glass of water, right? If I had added a, 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 a drop of urine inside of it, yeah. it's no longer pure no, water no more. Away, yeah. Well, the, yeah. so so therefore. By your logic, yeah. we should throw the Bible away. Yes, from your logic. All, the new, all of the uh, Egyptian manuscripts should be thrown away, the NIV should be thrown away, and we should and just use the King James so, version. What? Which one do you go by? Only the King James. Right. King James. But King James, King James, even though within the, even yeah, within but the, King, within the previous, it, says it has grave defects. It doesn't have any defects. Name a defect to that. It, it says in the previous. If you read it, even before you open Genesis 1, right. it even it gives a disclaimer that there are many grave defects in the King James Version. So now, now logically it makes sense there has to be another scripture that has to be uncorrupted well, that, that restores that the restores the original teachings of Jesus. Okay, let me give an example of, of, of that mistake. I, wait, hold on. I do not believe this. I do not believe the King James Version. It says there are many great no, defects. No, no, no. You will find it in the, revi the preface of the Revised Standard Version. Okay. Hold right. on. Yeah, you will find it in a preface. But when you examine what's in the King James Version, you will find uh, interpolations. I'll give an example. In John chapter 3, 16, 
It says. For God to love the world, that he gave his only son to the yes. There you go. Yeah. yeah. For so God loved the world yeah. that he sent his only. The now, son, King yeah. James Version still, the Texas Receptor still holds only begotten son. Yeah. Yeah. But then we go back to the Greek, it uses the word, I think it's magen magenis, magenidis, which means only. It doesn't mean begotten. And in fact, what that does do, that goes in compliance with the. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you think begotten means? Begotten, if we look at the definition of begotten, it's a begotten means it's a lower function of no, it no, 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 that's no, not what we're disputing doesn't. about. We're disputing begotten about. simply means the fun. If I say you're my son, that means I've begotten you as a son. That just literally Bye. means. <laughs> No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's get up the definition. No, no, no. Let's get the definition. Begotten is the first born. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Born means born. Begotten means, if I declare I'm your father, that means I begot you. I have begotten you. All it means is God declared Jesus as his son. And he declared Jesus before any of us were declared as son. Because we're also sons. He is the, the only one at the time. We are the future. Okay, begotten, begotten means this, right? Begotten, especially of a man, bringing a child into existence by the process of reproduction. It can right? be that, yeah. Right? Yeah. It means any form where you declare you're the father. Hold you on, one second. Someone and that means you're, begot you're begetting the Hold child. Hold on. It simply means you're the father and you declare yourself as the father. Hold on, one second. There's two points we can raise here from this. First of all, it says that that Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. Yeah. But in Psalm chapter 2, verse 7, David is also called the only begotten Son of yeah, God. Because hold, yeah, hold on. Okay. So there's a contradiction. Because if if it says in uh, John 3, 16, that for, for, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, yeah. Yeah. but then we see in Psalm chapter 2, verse 7, that David is called the begotten Son yeah, of God, yeah, yeah. then we, there's a contradiction in and terms. It's exactly the same contradiction in the Old Testament when Isaac. No, but do you agree that's a contradiction? But, uh, yeah, and I'm explaining what the contradiction is. You see exactly the same contradiction when. And, uh, Isaac is taken up to be sacrificed and you know Abraham more, had more than one son but what does the Bible say you take your only, your only son. son and that is because Jesus at that point until his death was uh, whilst David had the future hope of being a son of God until that death happened he could not be begotten Okay. God could not could not beget until Jesus died on the cross. Right. So, in the Revised Standard Version, yeah. right, and Which also like you're using a use the King James. No, I'm not using the King James. The reason why I'm even saying it's a preface. It doesn't say that in the Bible. If you're saying it's a preface from some book, no, then King that's James someone else has written it. King James no, no, no. The King James Version has no copyright. I could produce the King James Version and I could write a preface saying whatever. That's not part of the King James. Right. Bible. So the, the first Epistle of John, chapter five, verse seven and eight, where it's it says that. There are three that bear record in heaven. Do you believe that to be in the original manuscripts, even though it's been taken out as a fabrication? Yes, I believe, yes. Do you believe me yes. today that it's, it's, it should be taken out? No, I understand the opposite. I said, those, the, so in the new versions uh, of the Bible, which use the oldest manuscripts, they have taken out verses of the Bible, many, many verses, and they have done that to try and disprove Jesus from being God. No. They have done that, they have done that. They only, no, no, they're only going by the historical method. That's no, what they're they doing. Have not, That's they what they're doing. There is That's multiple what they evidence to show that it was a corrupt hang, 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 hang on, hang on. Are you telling me that biblical scholars are all Christians? Are you, are you saying, are you saying there's only, there's, there's only non-Christian scholars? There are Christian scholars who are, who are biblical. Why would I say that? Because that could be, because what you're saying, there could be a, pro, there could be a, a rumor bias. But I could have a Christian next to me, but that Christian may be biased. Just because they're a Christian doesn't mean I believe what they're doing. They're they may do very terrible things. They may be very corrupted. I know, but we're talking about academic. I don't care. They could be academics. They're very. You don't corrupted. care about academic. No, I care about truth. And you can how be the highest person in the wait, world, wait, wait, the lowest person in the world. Wait. I don't care about status. Wait, hang on, hang on. How do you? How can you establish the truth? Because you can prove wait. it using the Bible. No, 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 no. You are claiming that the text of receptors is more reliable. Yes. Okay. Can you demonstrate? Can you demonstrate. Why, why should I so why, why should I why should I dismiss the Codex Sinaiticus? Ah, why should I multiple reasons? Check the one, one thing is that there are many verses that don't make any sense, including Mark. It doesn't make any sense. Why do you end there without Jesus dying on the cross and coming back to life? Okay, it doesn't make sense. Also, look at Revelation. Revelation goes forwards, backwards, oh, forwards, backwards. Hold on. Are you timeline. hold on? So are you are you rejecting the Codex Sinaiticus because it doesn't it doesn't have the passion? Yeah, that's it. That's it. doesn't fit. It doesn't have a passion well, narrative. I was saying. I was saying actually if you look at Revelation it goes forwards backwards it's a you know a chiastic structure
Scripture. So whenever you read a verse from the Bible or anything from the Bible, the timeline does not always go straight forwards. And in Revelation specifically, it goes forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Not only that, it goes forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards as a whole, and then it does the same thing as a whole. So it has a chiastic structure which does not exist in the synaptic text. It does exist in the Textus Receptus. Only God, why would it not have that structure in the, the oldest version of the Bible where it goes forwards, backwards, backwards, forwards, all over the place, but it does it perfectly in the Textus Receptus? Okay, well, this is what I was trying to, this is what I was explaining to you earlier, right? Is that the Codex Sinaticus oh. is dated around the, f the third to yeah, the yeah, fourth yeah, century? Okay, yeah. It's actually considered much more reliable By some than. People, uh, hold on by one a second. Lot of people it's not. It is, okay. It is. I would say most Christians would say they go for the King James. They go for the Texas Receptus. Okay. But I pointed out to you what those errors were in the Texas Receptus, which is the, the what, which is what the King James version is based on. I pointed out to you John chapter three verse sixteen, right? For it says, "For so God loved the world that He sent His own." Only begotten son. The word begotten has been taken out as an interpolation. In it fact, should have been left it, in. Oh, it was correct. In, in, in the Revised Standard Version authorized in 1952, you would find that the word only has been used here. But I've also pointed out to you that it's but, a. But, but that's not pointing anything out. I believe he is God's only begotten son. They, when they remove stuff, they have done. They've made a mistake. Okay. Can you explain to me? Because I've, I've I've given you the definition of the word begotten, right? Well, no. That. No. Hold on. Hold on. The definition you gave agreed with my definition. When oh. someone declares himself, if you adopt him, you beget him, you've gained a son. It doesn't have to be by reproduction. Give me it the definition be, of the word begotten, because I'm going to give you a you're the father and someone else is the son. No. That's what the definition is. Especially of a man bring a child Especially into existence. Means most commonly, it doesn't mean only. You can have a son by reproduction, you can have a son by adoption, you can have a son many ways. I can declare someone's my son. Begotten just means someone has declared someone else that they're your son and that you're the father. That's exactly, but this is the reason why in the Revised Standard Version they use the word only son rather than begotten son. So if you're using the term adoption, then we can point to the Revised Standard Version where it uses, hold on one second, where it uses the word only son as opposed to the word begotten son. But as I said to you earlier, it contradicts Psalm chapter 2 verse 7, right, where David is called the only begotten son of God. So, so, so we have a contradiction. So there has to be consistency. In, there is no, there's no consistency. Well, I thought we went through that. It, it is consistent and it's consistent How? with the story of Isaac as well. Because you, at that point, there was only one son. But there is a future time where there was the hope for David to be considered. So it's like in the Old Testament, there were Christians. In, 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 they followed Jesus because we believe Jesus was there. Christian yeah. just means follower of Jesus. So they were Christians and they were saved, but the guarantee was only after the death happened, only after Jesus had died and resurrected. So you can say, yes, David was a son, but he only truly became begotten once Jesus died on the cross. Is this, you see, what you're doing, you're providing... That's belief. That's this is you're, belief. you're doing eisegesis, right? That's what you're doing. You're doing eisegesis, which is... Exegesis, you are, yeah. No, eisegesis. No, eisegesis. That's what you're doing. You're doing eisegesis. What's doing exegesis and eisegesis? Right. Eisegesis is when you try to derive an interpretation that doesn't exist in the text. No, it right? does. Every Christian believes this. No, no, no. no, no. Look, belief is out the window right now. Evidence. So what is the, so the we got so we're going by evidence. That, that's the reason why I'm asking you. So where's your sorry, where's your evidence for your creedal beliefs? For what beliefs? The, the, so for Jesus, for example, the Bible is the word of God. That's yeah. your creedal belief. Can you prove to me that the Bible is a reliable source of information? It's because uh, well, from, from the, the Bible. Yeah, it's not the old, not well, well, uh, or yeah, both old the scripture Testament. is God breathed. Isn't that evidence that it's from God? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, you're saying that, well, it doesn't fit to my Christian beliefs. Belief. What doesn't fit to my Christian beliefs? About what he just mentioned. No, it does fit to my Christian beliefs. Okay, okay, hang on. But your creedal beliefs has to be backed up with evidence, correct? So it's the Bible's the evidence, yeah. No, no, so, so the Bible is your evidence. The history is <laughs> Okay, fine. But the brother here mentioned that in the RSV version, Which the begotten follow. is not there, yeah. it's the only son. Is that correct? Yeah. But I don't follow okay. that. He's using a Bible. Okay, word. so you know what? So you have to tell us why the text of Receptus is reliable. I've given you the chiastic structure is a complete mess in the uh, RSV and the NIV, but it's perfect in the text of that doesn't mean That doesn't mean text of Receptus is reliable. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Something is you're just proving to me why the others are not reliable, but you're not. Okay, fine. You're so fine. I proved the others are unreliable. So prove to me. So because the chiastic structure is works. So prove to me the text of Receptus is reliable. Because, yeah, because there's no contradictions in the text of Receptus. The prophecies are all correct. 
the taxes of Septus. The chiastic structure is correct in the taxes of Septus, and it says that God is protected. Okay, so what is chiastic restructuring? Just explain what what what, what is. Oh, that's where you go forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. No, no, go, no. Actually, break it down. What is it? So if I say a story, I walked in the park, then I went home. I went home, then I walked in the park. So I've gone forwards in the story, then I've gone backwards in the story. That's how Revelation's written. Right, so how does, that, how does that, can you show us? It's well, you'd have to read the whole of Revelation. Oh, but show us this format that in, 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 in the revised, in, in the King James Version that you're speaking about. It's the whole of, the whole of Revelation. So it will talk about the dragon, and then it will redo the story, but it will change the, the dragon into Satan. And by doing that, it shows not only that it's a gastric structure, it shows what... So you're dismissing, so you're dismissing all the, 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 the studies that the revised standard version is based upon, you're going to dismiss that and say that this is totally corrupt, totally corrupt. Corruption. Is that what you're saying? Do you mean the scriptures? Or do yes, you mean... the, both the scriptures and the monster. The, the scriptures obviously are 90% accurate, but as you say, you put a little bit of inaccuracy in there and you need to throw the whole thing out. So, because of the little bit of inaccuracy. So, hold on, are you I telling me that you disagree out? with everything that's in the Revised Standard Version? No, I said the majority is correct. But even so if tell you me which one, hold on, so tell me which one you do agree with. Which what? Either it be a verse or the structure. Well, tell me, tell me that. The majority of verses I agree with in the RSV. But what I'm saying is, you just put a bit of incorrect verses in there or take some verses out. And because you've then corrupted it, you have to throw the whole thing away. Right. So you're disagreeing with it because it doesn't fit into your passion narrative. Is that exactly. if I, am, am No, I, it doesn't fit because it's corrupted. Because they've taken no. verses out which no, are not Because out. you know as well as I do that in the Revised Standard Version, the, the, the story of the resurrection has been dismissed, has been taken out. But, it's, but it still goes back to my earlier question you still have not provided for me right. right so I know you might have to go so I'm not gonna hold you long you still have not provided for me any unequivocal right. um, unambiguous right. evidence where Jesus says I am God worship me God in the Old Testament in, in multiple verses in the book of Isaiah for example God says I am God you should worship no other right but you have not provided for me any unequivocal evidence where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Okay. Right? Uh, well, he what? says, I can read it. Okay, go ahead. That Jesus and, and, and God is the same. Okay. First Corinthians 8, 6. Yet for us there is one God, the Father from whom are all things, and from whom we exist, and one Lord. Uh, sorry. And one Lord Jesus Christ, saying the same now. Through whom are all things, and through whom we exist. They okay. have the same attributes okay. that we exist so does it, to God and to Jesus. Which is really okay. Huh? For us, there's one God, the Father, and one Lord, who is the Son. So they're different. But they are given the same attributes. They are one God, the Father, for whom are all things, and from whom we exist, and and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all thi through whom are all things, Jesus and God. The same. No, no, no. And through what whom you... we exist. We exist through Jesus and to God and to Jesus. They are the same. You they said, are together you said, in heaven. You said but that. when Jesus come here, he come in a in, in no, the no. flesh. What I... he, he left it there the God power, the, the God the uh, attributes and come here as you. What you have established is that there's a hierarchy. That's what you've established. I asked you, show me where Jesus says, I am God and he's equal with the Father. Exactly. What you've shown me... Search, with, I can say. Well, there you go. But we need to go now. We need to go. But I, have okay. a, I, to, I want to ask other things before you go. I, I, do, I, I do like uh, you are giving Quran now. Sorry? Are you giving the Quran? Yes, yes, there's some Quran. Could, could you take from me, uh, maybe one from me? One from yeah, yeah. You want to take a Quran? Yeah, I'd like to learn. I don't know the Quran, I've never read. No problem, brother. No problem. Okay. Brother, listen, I just want to say one thing before you go. No, but I nice speaking to, to you, brother. I want to what's, ask something. Sorry, what's your name? Do you, Kerry. Kerry, lovely speaking to you. Yeah, really nice. Do you, do you, I don't know the Quran, but what I listen to no, I can't speak a lot. Muslim but need to no. heal the I, I hear you say, uh, if Jesus is God, talk, talk example, uh, this is in the if uh, somebody yes. pray for Jesus, Jesus, if like no, God must say no, no for me, but, only but for Father. Yeah. Yes, but no, in New Testament, the Jew people will kill him because when he give uh, eyes or so.
They say, oh my God, I for Jesus. You, yeah. Jesus, no, say, no, pray to me. No, but if you don't listen to me. Life, listen okay. to me. I 20 years study Kura. Yeah. He, he is Kura, he is Bible. Both, both, both books can't believe from God, the same. I agree with you. Okay. No, agree with you say, one must believe from God, one no. Okay, I want to say one thing before you leave. You know Prophet Daniel? You know Prophet Daniel? I know. Prophet Daniel, I know. You know Daniel? Of course. Of Daniel course, yeah. received worship and he didn't object. Terrible people that kill this guy. Like, like a Hitler. Like Hitler. You kill Hitler if you, if you can. Do you want to give him the Quran? Yeah, yeah, give him the Quran. What's your name, brother? What's your name? What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, lovely to meet you. Love to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, man. Take care. Have a good day. Bismillah. When, when Jesus comes and you resurrect, if you're dead, we'll see in heaven. Because if you are sincere and love God, do what do you believe. Okay. Daniel, take care of yourself, Daniel. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair. That was Daniel. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide him to Islam. Amen. Jazakallah khair.